Right, back on again everyone. Look at the magnificence of this. Still quite brown and dark that side. But look at the lushness down through there everyone. There's a path going up around there. If you want to go to Somerton Coombe or go out onto the hills that way, you can. But look at the lushness and then how steep the banks are getting. The green. And then look, look at this. The cuckoo's cuckooing again. This is so beautiful. It's worth coming, doing this, you know. It really is. It's a lovely, lovely walk. And I think all the times I've walked this, apart from having Georgia with me, Zara, at a different time, and the girls at a different time, I have never come across anyone in, in, in here. I've seen them, when I've been over there and I've looked down, further up that is, I've seen somebody on this path, but when I've been on it myself, I've never met anyone. The, the ground's quite damp here. We are sort of, we're sort of down and up at the same time. This is very similar to Somerton Coombe, by the way. There's a part of Somerton Coombe where it tapers. I, I haven't explored yet either. So that will be done another day. Yeah, there's a bit of that where you come off Lower Hair Nap track. You come down and then it, where it, it tapers off. And it ends up near some very big trees. Maybe there'd been some sort of settlement there once where they have those huge ferns. See, nobody coming, look. Even the quad bikes can't get here, but horses have been here. Someone on a horse. Just to remind everyone, it's the 30th of April 2019 and I'm doing April. First time in April I've been out, up here that is, because of moving home. I thought I've got to get here in April so this is the last day. And I've got to do at least a day in May. Although I do want to do some more of the coastal path. So... Yeah, it's weird how it's so dark and brown over that side. And then I look up and I see two deer watching me and I've never seen deer there before. They're keeping a close eye on me. Very close. Look at how skinny that one is. Look at that one. Hello. It's all right. It's just Sheila. That was pure luck. Let me zoom in again. They're sat there calling in the mud. They look very flea bitten. Very, very thin indeed. You see, they're just not looking after the deer. Now, they blended in very well there. I'm just going to take a picture. Hold on, I've got to turn off a minute. Right, I'm back on now. There was five. I've just seen a buzzard now, a great big buzzard flying about. Because I'm not... Uh, I'm not quiet. They're, they blended in so... I was just saying how brown and dark it was over that side. And then they blended in, but I caught my eye. I'm like I said, I'm quite good at scanning long distance. So there could have been some in the bracken there, but I might have scared them off. But they stopped. They let me take pictures of them and video them as well. Just a little, little hint of them. That is the magic of this place. I wasn't expecting that. A little family of skinny deer. And believe me, they look terribly thin. They're making me itch now because they look like they're covered in ticks. Shouldn't hang about too long. They get on you. <clears throat> well, wasn't that, wasn't that a reward? I mean, I quite often see deer, but I've never seen them in this coon. 
not for a long time. I used to see them further down by the fords in the past. I've seen some big deer in the past down there. Yeah, they just caught my eye. They blended in so well with the bracken. A little family of them sat there. Now they've gone, they probably might even run down that hill, across and up. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful welcome from them. And they don't have to feel worried or threatened by me. But they didn't look very healthy, I must admit. They're not really looking after the deer here, I don't think they are. Not only do they chase them and stress them, there aren't enough. I don't even know why I have to cull them anymore. Why can't they just look after them? This is beautiful. This place is to be shared. God, it is annoying, you know. God, this bit here, don't know if it just... This bit here just reminds me of the other coom. But I know it's not. You can, you can get bit... I think I've been bitten... I had quite a few bites last time I was up here actually. <clears throat> I can feel things crawling on me as I'm walking along. <laughs> I have put some pest stuff on me ankles, but ah, they're clever little buggers, those ticks. I had um, quite a few bites. Either that or they were flea bites. I don't know what, what they are exactly, but um, I've still got them. Even though I keep my legs covered and everything, I didn't want to start using pesticides, but they, I had so many bites. So if you come out like somewhere like this, they're going to jump in your shoe. They're going to get in bed in your socks, you know. As long as you treat yourself afterwards and check yourself, um, you should be all right, really. But you've got to be prepared to be bitten, I'm afraid. Especially if you go off track like I do. And I've got a bright red top on, that probably attracts them. At least you can see them. If you've got bright red, if I had red socks on, or my boots were red, um, yeah, it does happen. Because the deer probably walk along here as well. And they look terribly unhealthy. Those did. <sighs> Emancipated, whatever you call it. Emaciated, emaciated, I mean. <sighs> right, so we're carrying on up Slaughterhouse Coom. It might become something else, by the way. It might become another name in a minute, because that happens. If I get any more bites tonight, I'll know that it's because I've been up here. I'll know. <sighs> Let's have another look as you can see anything, Sheila. So this is it, folks. Tapering off. The coombs getting deeper. It gets more difficult to navigate these sort of small cantocks as the ferns grow. Because they will dominate eventually here. Uh, they're, they're very low at the moment, very low. But once they start, you have to battle the ferns. And of course you do get adders. The adders are probably still on guard. But uh, you've got to be careful where you tread. I rarely see an adder, mind. Uh, hardly ever, really. They're bloody clever buggers. Well, I'm going to turn off for a minute. Over and out.